So today we'll discuss about crossing over. Yes, sir. Feet. So this crossing over takes place in meiosis. Meiosis. There are two substages. Meiosis first and meiosis mm -hmm. second. Meiosis one and two. Okay. In meiosis one, there are again four phases. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Telophase. Prophase one, metaphase one, telophase one. Metaphase. Yeah. It was the same, but you write two. Prophase two. Yes, sir. Metaphase two. Anaphase two. Phase two. Okay. So here in prophase one, prophase one, there are again five substages. Zygotein, Pactin. So, profess first type. In profess one, again there are sub stages. Okay, sir. In prophase one, there are again five substages. Leptotein, zygotein, actin, diplotein, diatomaceous. Crossing hmm. over takes place in pactin. Pactin. So this phase pactin is a phase where crossing over takes place. Okay. The crossing over is take place is by pactin. In pactin. So crossing over will occur in pactin. Yes. And when you come to the process of crossing over, in the process of crossing over, so first we should understand about
homologous chromosomes. Homologous. We should understand about homologous chromosomes. Homo means same. Homo means same. same. I'll just explain you with an example. Yes. So totally, if you take humans, so there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. Or we can write in form of 46. Okay. If you yes, write 23 or 46, same 23 pairs or 46 chromosomes. Same. Okay. So if you take 23 pairs, so you can write like this. First pair, second pair. Like that, you can write on up to the third pair. Okay. <laughs> you can write like this. Sir, what is homologous chromosomes, sir? Homologous chromosomes, okay. it's That's what I'm, I'm, I'm explaining, okay? Yes, sir. But so in first pair, so there will be two chromosomes. There will be two chromosomes. Two chromosomes. So there will be two chromosomes. The first pair, there will be two chromosomes. So these two chromosomes, so one chromosome is from one parent. Suppose if this chromosome is from mother, yes. it is called mother maternal chromosome. chromosome. Automatically, other one will be from father. Parental chromosome. Paternal chromosome. So, paternal means father. Oh, yes, sir. Maternal means mother. mother. Okay. See, so one pair, one chromosome will come from mother. And another chromosome come from parent, father. So these chromosomes will have alleles. Alleles means suppose if you take height. Okay. Just for example, take height. Suppose if this chromosome is having capital T. This chromosome will have small t. This chromosome will have small t. Okay. Yes, sir. So they have same set of genes. Okay. Yes, sir. Suppose here they have Capital D, here they will have small d. Small d. So, means, 
So these chromosomes will have alleles of the same gene. Yeah. Yes, these yes. chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes. So these chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes. Homologous chromosomes. So each pair of chromosome will have one maternal chromosome and one paternal chromosome. So each pair will have one maternal and one paternal chromosome. Maternal chromosomes. So this pair of one maternal chromosome and one paternal chromosome called um, homologous chromosomes. Is called homologous homologous okay. So here, this uh, so the process of crossing over. If you take so crossing over will take place between these two homologous chromosomes. So crossing over will take place between. Homologous chromosomes. chromosomes. Crossing over never occurs between first pair of chromosome and second pair of chromosome. Okay. It occurs only between first pair. Between, yes, between third pair. Like that it occurs. Okay. So this crossing over. So if you take the process of crossing over, so the process of crossing over has four steps. So first step is called synapsis. Synapsis. Second step is tetrad formation. Third step. So the third step is change of chromatics. Third step is exchange of chromatics. Exchange of Fourth step, disjunction. Okay. So the process of crossing over has four steps. Synapsis, tetrad formation, tetrad formation, exchange of chromatid, disjunction. Okay. So first we'll go one by one. First we'll go one by one the process of uh, the steps one by one. Yes, sir. So if you come to the first step, synopsis. Okay. So synapsis means in synapsis. What will happen is so in synapsis the Homologous chromosomes will combine, they will attach with each other. So, synapsis is homologous, chromosomes will attach. Will, will attach with each other. So, the Process of attachment of homologous chromosomes is called synapsis. Synapsis. Okay. Yes. So here two chromosomes are attached. So this both attached one combinedly, it is called.
बाइवेलेंट व्हाट इज बाइवेलेंट बाइवेलेंट मींस दिस टोटल इज कॉल्ड वन बाइवेलेंट दिस टोटल इज कॉल्ड बाइवेलेंट बाइ मींस हाउ मेनी टू टू सो हियर टू क्रोमोसोम्स आर अटैच्ड विद 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 ईच अदर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड बाइवेलेंट यस सर दिस इज कॉल्ड बाइवेलेंट सो दिसंग जयगोटिंग आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड फाइव फेजेस आर देर इन प्रोपेज वन इन द फाइव फेजेस सिनाप्सिस टेक्स प्लेस इन जयगोटिन स्टेज इज tetrad formation so the next stage is tetrad formation tetrad formation tetra means how many 3 so 4 4 tri means 3 okay so tetrad formation means what will happen here is so in bivalent so two chromosomes are combined in synapses two chromosomes are combined okay so just for uh, our understanding Sir, two synapses are two chromosomes is attached here. Uh, so, yeah, here also two chromosomes are attached. No, here, here I will tell the next step what will happen. Yes. Okay. So just for our understanding, I will uh, show difference between paternal and maternal chromosome. Okay. So just think that it is uh, maternal chromosome. Yes. I'm writing here. There are only maternal chromosomes. Okay, this is paternal. Okay. So this uh, darkened one is maternal. Maternal. Okay. So this light one is paternal chromosome. Okay. So the center circle one is called uh, centromere. Am I correct? Yes, sir. It is called centromere, and this one is called arm. A chromosome will have one centromere and four arms. Okay, and arms. Okay. Yes. So in tetrad formation, the arms of the chromosome will split. Only arms of the chromosome will split. It means they will divide. Yes, sir. So when arms of the chromosome split. it is is it of eight part yeah yeah when arms of the chromosome will split will get chromatids so 
what will you get? Products. These are called chromosomes. Chromatrix. This one is one 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 chromatrix. How many we got? Eight chromatic. Uh, this total one is one. So four is maternal and four is paternal. Uh, no, here total this one is one chromatic. From here to here it is one chromatic. From here to here it is one chromatic. Yes. Okay. So total we got one, two, three, four. Okay. Yes, sir. Total how many chromatids we got? Four. Four chromatids. Yeah, we got four chromatids. So in this four chromatids, these two chromatids, these two chromatids, these two chromatids are so two chromatids maternal chromosomes and two is paternal chromosomes. Uh, these are chromatids of paternal. These are chromatids of maternal. Maternal. So maternal chromatids is two. Paternal chromatids is two. So total, how many we got? Four. So total, we got four. Normally we got four. That's why it is called tetrad. This is called tetrad. Tetrad. And tetrad means four. Four. Okay. So these two chromatids are called sister chromatids. So these two are called. So one Sir, one is maternal and one is paternal. Is no, no, no. Both maternal and paternal chromatids. Both these two chromatids are called sister chromatids. Yes. This one, third one, and fourth one, sister chromatids. First one and second one. Sister chromatids. Okay. Yes, sir. Three, four are sister chromatids, one, two are sister chromatids. Okay. Suppose if you take two and three, take two and three, these are called. Non-sister chromatids. Suppose you take two and three, they are called non-sister chromatids. chromatids. Two and three. Like sir, but, it, sir, but, yeah, sir, but you tell me, you is tell me uh, first and second is sister chromatid. Yeah, yeah, first and second is sister chromatid. Why because and both third, third, third and fourth is sister chromatid. Sister chromatid. So, but, so if you take two and three, or if you take one and three, or if you take two and four, they are but, but here two and three is not sister chromatid. Why? Uh, non sister means this chromatid is maternal chromatid. This is paternal chromatid. Second one is maternal chromatid. Third one is paternal chromatid. Yes, sir. Okay. okay sir. Suppose yes, sir. if you take both maternal chromatids, they are sister. 
Okay. If you take one petal metal and one metal chromatid, they are sister chromatid. Okay, non sister. You mentioned, mentioned that I did. suppose even if you take one and three, if you take one and four, they are non sister. Like if you take uh, one and three, they are non sister. So why? Okay. So one is maternal, three is paternal. Yes, sir. Okay, like sir, maternal, take... maternal and paternal is both is not sister chromatid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So these all are, if you take these numbers, these all are non sister. Yes, sir. Okay. If you write sister chromatids, only one and two are sister, three and four are oh, sister. Sister chromatids. These are sister. These two are these two non sister. So here, always crossing over will take place between non sister chromatids. Crossing over will occur between not sister chromatids. Not, not non sister chromatids. So, in crossing over, so in the process of crossing over, so what will happen in the process of crossing over? So, in the process of crossing over, the next step is exchange of chromatids. The next step is exchange, exchange, exchange of chromatids. chromatids. So this exchange of chromatids will occur between non-sister chromatids. So exchange of chromatids will occur between non-sister chromatids. chromatids. An exchange of chromatids will take place between always between non sister chromatids. So we'll write the next step. We'll write the next step. So that next step is exchange of Chromatid. Next step is exchange of chromatids. chromatids. So here what will happen in the exchange of chromatids? So what will happen in the exchange of chromatids is uh, Okay, I am drawing again the diagram. Okay. Okay, sir. I am drawing again the same diagram. Same like uh, sister and non sister. Sir, if we take place, it is not sister chromatid. Which one? Sir, exchange of chromatid is take place non sister chromatids. Yeah, yeah, it will take place between non sister chromatids. Okay. So that uh, darkened one or sister chromatids. Yes, sir. Okay. This left out one or these are sister, these are sister. Okay. Yes, sir. So, in exchange of chromatids, what will happen is the chromatid, suppose just think that the exchange of chromatid uh, has taken between three and two and three. Non sister chromatids. Chromatids. So here exchange of chromatid has taken place between second and third chromatid. 
secondary third chromatid so what will happen here is the part of second chromatid will break and a part of third chromatid will break i have drawn a line where they will break so second and third chromatid is break uh, will break here they will break after breaking yeah, after breaking of uh, chromatids after breaking of chromatids so they will be exchange exchange means this part will go to this this broken part will go to here okay. so that means this part will go to this this part will go to this means so what will uh, happen is it looks like this so if exchange of chromatids takes place exchange of chromatids takes place okay. if exchange of chromatids takes place okay so what will happen is it looks uh, like this so that is half of the second chromatid will go to third chromatid so half of the second chromatid will go to third chromatid third chromatid okay. and third chromatid will go to second chromatids here you are seeing the difference here this part has gone to here this part has gone to here so here see this is totally broken here the darkened part has went here and non darkened part has come here you are seeing the difference between these two diagrams Yes, sir. You are able to see the difference between these two diagrams. Here, see this point carefully. Here, exchange of chromatids has taken place. Exchange of below side is not to change chromatids. Here, this one, this one. See this one, second and third. don't see other one only see second chromatid and third chromatid don't see first and fourth so second and third below and above no no change. just well, just one point see just here only below point only see don't see in the upper point okay sir okay, just see below point okay okay sir where here this part has gone to here this part has come to here so that is for exchange of chromatids that is called exchange of chromatids chromatids okay. after exchange of chromatids okay. exchange of chromatids the next step is this junction the next is this junction this junction okay. this this junction means the homologous chromosome start separating okay it is opposite to synapsis in synapses homologous chromosomes has come to be joined attached with each other 
सर डिसजंक्शन All of a sudden, they will not get separate, so they will get separate gradually. So now, see here, they are not joined. Okay, here they are getting separated. Yes. Joined. So this separation of homologous chromosomes is called disjunction. Homologous chromosomes start disjunction. Yeah, the separate that is called disjunction. That is called disjunction. So you understood what is meant by disjunction? Yes, sir. Okay. You understood what is meant by exchange of chromatids? Yes, sir. Okay. So synapses also you understood. Yeah. You also understood uh, synapses. Yes, sir. Okay. So till now what we discussed is the process of crossing over. So till now what we discussed is the process, process of, of crossing over. Crossing over. Okay. and when you come to types of crossing over again there are types of crossing over again the right types of crossing over In these types of crossing over, there are single crossing over, double crossing over. multiple crossing over the crossing over is three types yeah three types single crossing over double crossing over multiple crossing over okay single yes, double multiple okay So single crossing over means crossing over has taken it only one point. Till now, what we discussed is single cross over. Okay. So what I told in the process of crossing over is crossing over has taken at only one point. At only one point means only this point crossing over has taken place. Yes, crossing over at the limit at only one point. Okay. And double crossing over means if double crossing over means if crossing over has taken at two points. Double crossing over means so the crossing over has taken at two points. Two points means this. For example, you can take suppose here also crossing over has taken place. Here also crossing over. Has taken place. Okay, here also two points. Okay. And another one that is multiple crossing over. 
multiple means if crossing over has taken more than two points over has taken more points more than two points so it is called multiple crossing over <coughs> so it is called multiple crossing over multiple crossing so there are three types of crossing over single crossing double, over double crossing, double crossing over multiple crossing over, over. Crossing over. Okay. single means crossing over has taken at one point double means crossing over has taken at Two point. Okay. Multiple means crossing over has taken place at more than two points. At more than two points. Okay. Yes, sir. So we discussed about now up to till now is about process of crossing over and types of crossing over. So now we will discuss about factors influencing crossing over. So what are the factors which will influence crossing over? So factor influence crossing over means? Uh, that means uh, factors which will uh promote crossing over which will uh, increase crossing over okay. okay so the factors which will increase the crossing over is so the first very important factor distance between the genes Distance between the genes. Yes. Okay. Suppose if the distance between the genes is more, so crossing over will be more. So distance between the genes is uh, more, crossing over also will be more. Suppose there are two genes A and B. Sir, here crossing over is move, over move means crossing yeah. over exchange. Uh, exchange. Okay. Yes. Suppose uh, I have mentioned two genes A and B. Yes, sir. Okay. Here the distance is like suppose. If A and B are present close, here the distance between these two genes is more, more distance. Yes, here, sir. Less distance. Less distance. Okay. So here crossing over chances are more. And in this case crossing over chances are Less crossing over. Less. So here, if the distance is less, the crossing over is also less. If the distance between genes is more, the crossing over is also. So more. More. So more distance between the genes. If the distance between the genes is high, crossing over also will be high. If it is less, crossing over also will be okay. Next, another factor is temperature. Okay. 
New York factories temporary. Okay. If there are drastic changes in the temperature, drastic changes means temperature becomes very high below. Okay. If there are drastic changes in the temperature, it increases crossing over. Hello. The drastic changes means, for example, in summer it is. Uh, so can you repeat the temperature? Yeah, drastic changes means suppose in summer it is 50 degrees centigrade. Suppose in winter it is minus 10. There is a lot of difference in the temperature. Okay. Yes, sir. This is called drastic change. This is called drastic change. This change. Okay. If this change is drastic change of temperature is there, it will increase crossing over. So it will increase uh, crossing over. Okay. The next factor is X rays. X rays. The okay, X rays also increase crossing over. X rays crossing increase over. crossing over. Suppose if they are exposed to X rays, chromosomes and genes are exposed to X rays means so the increase of crossing over will increase. Yeah. Yes, sir. And another factor, even if uh, they are exposed to mutagens, mutagens means substances which cause mutations. Substance which cause mutation. So, if they are exposed to these mutagens, crossing over will increase. Crossing over will increase. Increase. So, these are the factors which will influence the crossing over. The first factor distance between change move next drastic change temperature. In temperature next x rays x rays next one is new mutagens mutagens so these are the factors which will influence crossing over okay yes sir and the last topic Crossing over is significance of crossing over. It's importance of crossing over. So why crossing over is important? Very crossing over is important. Yeah. So crossing over is important in
bringing recombinants. Recombinants means new combination of genes. Yes, sir. Okay. Yesterday I told uh, linkages and recombinations. So bringing new combination of genes. Bringing new combination of genes. Hmm. Next crossing over leads to Variations. It leads to variations. Variations means changes in the genes or chromosomes. So this variations in the genes or chromosomes. It's a change of chromosomes. Yeah, changes in the genes or chromosomes. There are variations. Yes, sir. Okay. And these variations are so the variations are the important. So variations are required for so they are important for natural selection. And natural selection means uh, comes under uh, evolution. The natural selection comes under evolution. Yes, sir. The natural, the natural selection means here the nature will select the fittest one. The nature is a big selector. Okay, nature will select the organisms. Organisms which can survive, they will survive in the nature, they will get out in the nature. Organisms which cannot survive in the nature, they will die. Yes, sir. Okay. And next, crossing over is used to prepare Is used to prepare chromosome maps. Is used to prepare chromosomes map. Uh, chromosome maps means so we can draw chromosomes. There will be a chromosome drawing will be there and. What genes are present on chromosomes? Like this. Okay. Chromosome maps means how many chromosomes are there? What genes are there in each and every each and every chromosome? So that is called chromosome map. Uh, or even we can call it as uh, linkage. Linkage maps. Even we can call it as a linkage map. So this is uh, the importance of uh, the crossing movement. This is the importance of uh, crossing, crossing over. over. Okay. So, what are the steps in crossing over? So, bringing uh, recombination variation important for natural selection. Make mm -hmm. a chromosome map. No, no. What are the what are the steps in the process of crossing over? The process of crossing over. Mm. How many steps are there in that? 
sir process of chrom uh, crossing over is synapses tetrad mm. formation exchange of chromos chromatic this junction mm. so what will happen in synapses so synapses is a homologous chromosomes attached each other these are called synapses okay what will happen in tetrad formation so tetrad formation is um, two chromosome are combined two chromosomes uh, tetrad formation means here chromo uh, four chromatids are formed so four chromatid is formed yeah tetrad formation means four chromatids are formed am i correct tetra means so many so tetra means oh. four yeah what will happen in exchange of chromatids sir so exchange of chromatid is take it will be take place is non sister chromatid so it will take in the non sister chromatid yes sir exchange of chromatids uh, uh, it will so take second in the and third so second and third will be break after break breaking Okay. What will happen in uh, this junction? So this this junction is a uh, is a homologous chromosome. They start separate. Okay, they will start separate. Okay, yes. Homologous chromosomes will start separate. How many types of crossing over are there? So three types of crossing over: single crossing over, double crossing over, and multiple crossing over. Single crossover, the double crossover, multiple crossover. Multiple. So single crossing over has taken only the one point. One point. Okay. And double Cross crossing over is a has taken in two points. Okay. Multiple crossing over has taken more than two points. Okay. So you have no doubts in this crossing over. Yes, sir. Okay, you are clear with this crossing over and telescopic mutations linkage. You are clear? Any doubt? Yes, no, sir. No linkage, no doubts. No, sir. No mutations, gene mutations, uh, chromosome mutations. Any doubts? No, sir. It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, we will meet you in the next class tomorrow's class. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you sir. Okay. Bye. Good night. Good night sir. Good night.